Good evening, this is Neil uh, with Efficient Automation. I wanted to um, go over something that a question I was asked about how do you make a schedule or how do you link a schedule to a schedule point. So there's two different ways. One is, is to have a current state that's a, basically an enumeration point. Uh, if we go into configure properties, I'll be able to show you what we did. So we made it unitless. Uh, the subcategory is occupancy which uh, if you go through here you can scroll through and you'll find it and then we made the default value as occupied um, now if we wanted to we can actually take this point and instead of making it a, um, um, a an enumeration point we can make it just a boolean point to where it says okay you know I'm occupied turn on and you just do on off but since the since the 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 way I was taught was to do a current state to where you can do multiple different states for different things to bring on your equipment. Um, for instance, you have occupied, unoccupied. You can have a cool down. You can have a warm up. You can have a standby, uh, pre and post purge. You know, there's different things you can do to give different numbers. Um, so that way you're utilizing um, your your equipment to be enabled but then you can also utilize that to go to different set points for you know unoccupied set points first and a pre and post purge where you're just trying to basically just move air in the building to um, to to get things moving so the next thing you want to do after you've created your current state and you made your select block um, so one would be occupied zero is unoccupied or zero would be off um, so I had to I added it to my select where I got zero for occupancy one is unoccupied and two is my bypass control for this uh, particular unit the next thing I did was is under my tuning policies for my back net I went and created a point called schedule policy now the reason you want to do that is because if you link your schedule you'll notice that the the point will uh, bounce back and forth you'll get a crazy number and in order to stop that you make your max write time one minute and that'll correct the issue but you only really want to utilize that for your schedules and not really anything else so I'm gonna go here to my points folder and I'm gonna show you a point here it is current state so for instance if we were to go and discover it the points so this building never shuts off, just FYI. Um, so if you're seeing that the next state is also the same way, that's why. So normally the point's gonna come in as a numeric point. So I'm trying to find it. Here it is right here, current state. So instead of just dragging and dropping, what I like to do is I add a new point, an enumeration writable, and f just for this exercise, since I've already got it called current state, I'm just going to keep it name the same thing, but just a different way. Also, you see this analog value 351. So you're going to go here, analog value 351. And then you have your ranges. So for this one, you could do the Honeywell spider tool, uh, or you can create your own custom. Um, but we use this for the basic the basic deals you got occupied unoccupied standby unconfigured um, and like I said you can also modify it you can just make it an enumeration range and then add zero for occupancy and and so on so once you do that then you come to right here where it says tuning policy and you click schedule policy so now your new point has been brought in and it's now an enumeration. The next thing you want to do is go to wherever you are storing your schedules. So, for instance, on this one, we have RTU schedules built in each point folder. And then basically all we did was is just pull the out and tied it into 10 um, or you could do 16 it's it's doesn't really matter uh, for this 
I can tell you when it comes to Johnson uh, and some other ones, you actually have to go into a higher command, and usually 10 will make um, will make the point be uh, where it'll actually take the command. Um, also, right here, there's um, if you wanted to, if you created schedules like in a schedule folder and you had everything outside, then what you would do is you would just link mark. Then you would right click on this, you would link mark from. Here it is, you have your out, and then you can pick your input. And like I said, if you wanted to, you can just do 16. And there you go, now you see that there's a link. So I just kind of wanted to show um, how to do some scheduling, how to add a schedule, um, things along that line. Um, please like, follow, um, and comment. It's the only way I could do more videos on specific items that people are looking for. I really want to start digging more into the newer the newer controllers that Honeywell has, the uh, Cypher 30s and 50s, and the um, the uh, the new VAV controllers and some of the bigger controllers that are coming out. So please, like I said, like, follow, give me comments, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.